know that pilots are an important part of the aviation industry and flying the aircraft, but there's a whole range of support people from designers to maintenance people um, to engineers that, that really build up and support the whole aviation industry. So the STEM education is the foundation of that. And getting these kids excited about STEM early in their, their age and in their schooling really is preparing our next generation of leaders in this industry. I think it's important for airports to have a, uh, a, a way for people to come out and see firsthand uh, some of the some of the things that go on in the world of aviation. So, you know, we try to host tours, we try to host events, uh, we try to work with uh, organizations such as Armstrong that's putting on this Aviation Day, which is a wonderful opportunity for the community uh, to be involved in another aspect of aviation. We try to work with different organizations like the Civil Air Patrol, uh, you know, all kinds of organizations like that that are trying to educate youth and bring people up in aviation and, uh, we, you know, that's, that's probably the primary role that we have. Obviously, there's a pilot shortage in the, in the United States right now. I think that's well known and uh, there's going to be an awful lot of job opportunities for pilots in the future. But even for non-pilots, many, many uh, maintenance and, and support types of, of uh, careers, uh, aircraft mechanics, avionics technicians, and uh, of course there's always going to be a need for designing and developing the next generation of what's coming, so the engineers and designers as well. I think the future for aviation in um, both locally and in the state of Colorado is really, really strong. There's a huge emphasis from the state's economic development organizations to grow that industry as well as um, here locally. We have a lot of momentum in the aviation industry. Um, Colorado Mesa University is expanding their civil engineering program. They just launched a new pilot training program. Uh, West Star Aviation has expanded a lot here. We have a number of new at business organizations that are working here. So there's really quite a lot of momentum and um, a lot of emphasis both from local economic development partners and from the state to uh, make aviation a strong industry here in the future. I think the first thing is today's kids want hands-on. They want to touch something, they want to feel it, they want to know about the electronics on it. Today, museums like ours, places like Armstrong, they to help kids get involved. And if you, if you get them involved, sort of touchy, feely type thing, um, that's great. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity to get these kids uh, pointed in a direction for their future, a very multiple time in their life. And uh, it's an opportunity to basically you give them direction and goals in life and be a part of that. These opportunities really give youngsters a chance to say, I, I just like what's going on here and this is where I want to go with my life any way possible. These events can influence somebody that before didn't have career goals and now they've got one. So often aviation gets forgotten about or so many communities, the members of that community don't even know they have an airport in the smaller communities or the larger communities it's just a place where you go buy a ticket to go somewhere else. They don't recognize the commerce that comes in, the uh, educational opportunities, uh, just the way that they're plugged into the rest of the aviation network through, throughout the nation and the world, really. Having uh, events like National Aviation Day really helps to highlight the companies that are here. We have several organizations that are participating and we have a lot of students which shows the interest from the district. So it's really about highlighting who's here already and, and sort of showing that there is quite a lot of momentum. And then of course getting the community to, to see what, what Armstrong is doing here and what the other organizations are doing. I think that really helps just to raise awareness that we have a really strong aviation industry here already. Just as these kids that are here today are being given some access to some things that perhaps they've never known, they've never seen, or they've never thought about, uh, it's, it's vitally critical, not just in this community, but nationwide, for kids to be able to get near airplanes, pilots, things associated with aviation. Uh, I'm a pilot, have been for 43 years. I can tell you that virtually anyone in the aviation business, if you, if you backtrack their life story, what you're going to find is 
sometime in their formative years, they got to the airport, they got around pilots, they got around airplanes, maybe were able to touch airplanes, sit in airplanes, and they said, man, this is cool, and this is what I want to do. So I think it's accessibility. I think it's just accessibility and exposure. As the host today and the sponsor of today's event, we're really looking to reach out and touch these kids in a practical way, hands-on opportunities for them to understand what goes on behind the scenes in aviation. Uh, beyond that, we employ 50 people across uh, four offices here in the Western United States with Grand Junction being our home corporate office. We've been in the Valley for more than 40 years and this is just an opportunity for us to give back to the community a little bit and hopefully we're preparing the next generation of future employees for Armstrong Consultants.